This dude wrote, Asmongold pumps out five videos a day with the better half of them being complete unedited re-uploads of other people's videos with him in the corner shaking his head. What makes you think he would have any respect for artists ever? This is so beyond disingenuous that it's actual brain rot. And the only people that upvote something like this, which uh, he obviously got, he's got, well, he got his little engagements, 27K, 27K likes over something that is so bullshit, it's not even funny. And here's the thing, you can have your own opinion on Gold's videos. I love the dude. I've been watching him for years. I've been watching him for years now. But to say that he uploads com complete unedited re-uploads is absolute bullshit. The dude takes a five minute conversation. I said it right here. Stuff like this is so disingenuous that all um, that all the people that are angry are just because they don't like the guy, not because this post is factual. Gold takes a five minute clip and makes it into an hour long documentary. If anything, he's the gold standard of React content. And I wholeheartedly believe that. Wholeheartedly believe that. Any video this dude watches, he's adding at least 30 to 35 minutes of extra content on top of whatever he's watching. It's a dialogue. It's a dialogue between him and the content creator going back and forth. And largely, for the most part, from to my understanding, if anybody doesn't want him watching them, they just say so, and he takes the video down. Or if, uh, uh, or if, you know, they don't watch want him watching them anymore, then he doesn't watch their videos anymore. So to come out and say something like this, and this is just because people say this shit because they don't actually watch his videos. They see his thumbnails and they're like, I'm not watching this guy. It's just, I don't know, man. People on the internet sometimes, I swear to God. They always want to paint people in a, in a, in a different light so that it is beneficial to what their opinion is and so that they can get their internet points and their pats on the back and shit like that. You can not like somebody, but you also can just not straight up fucking lie about them. I know that's really hard, especially for Twitter. Especially for Twitter. My favorite part about uh, some Asmin videos is when he calls out a chatter when they have a brain dead take. That is also one of my favorite parts as well. I feel like every time I ever go to that guy's stream, there's already somebody pulled up. I found you. I found you through Asmin, so he does. Uh, he does benefit those people he watches more than anything. That's the other thing too, uh, because when they bring up when people say shit like this, right? They're saying it because they want people to believe that he's out there just stealing other people's content and that there is no benefit to it. But at the end of the day, there is a massive benefit to it, an absolutely enormous benefit to it. You want me to teach you how this actually works? I'm going to teach you guys how this works. Okay, so. I am a small content creator. I make a video and Asmongold watches it. Let's say my ceiling for views, it's relatively difficult for you to get views that have a lot of traction, especially if you live in a specific corner of the internet in a specific niche. Like I make videos about video games, about, uh, uh, you know, consumer attention around, you know, certain things in the gaming industry, my opinions on video games and things like that, right? Mostly about RPGs, so that makes me even smaller. So my reach isn't going to be as high as somebody like, I don't know, Mr. Beast or something like that. I'm not going to get 16 million views on a video. That's super unlikely because that's just not the kind of videos that I make that would reach that kind of audience. However, the kind of content that Asmongold makes reaches an audience of massive amounts of views, where my ceiling on a video might be, let's say, 100,000 views or something like that without something crazy random happening where one of my videos just pops off. That can happen. Sometimes the internet just does some black magic shit, right? But a guy like Asmongold watches one of my videos. Maybe we'll say it had a ceiling about 100,000 views. He's gonna get, let's say 500 to, you know, maybe a million views, 500,000 to a million views on that video. Most of those viewers are going to be unique that haven't actually watched any of my content in the past. Now, while many of those people aren't going to go and immediately watch my video after, because why would you? You've already effectively watched the video, right? Maybe they come by and they give it a like. Maybe they subscribe to the channel, right? There you go. There's something from there. But to be honest with you, I don't actually see that much. You really don't see massive subscriptions roll in after people start watching a video. I do see some, and I see them all the time because they'll comment and say, I came from Asmongold, things like that. Baldo, blah, 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 things like that. But what you do see is, is that as that content is reacted to, 
I've gone from somebody that's been seen by 100,000 people to somebody that's been seen by a million people. And the next time they see my face, they're more likely to recognize me and go, oh, hey, I like that guy. He was in a video that I saw before. I like this guy's opinions. I'm gonna watch that video. And then you capture them later. A lot of the times it's not immediate. It's not this huge impact where, oh, I watched a video of a small streamer and their channel just explodes. It's usually not how it kind of works. It's almost like trickle down economics more than anything else, right? Where it's like, uh, uh, you know, actually, I think he even said this last night. I was listening to him and he's like, He's, he's talking about, I can't even remember exactly what it was, like derivative content or something like that. And he's like, if I'm the goose that lays the golden egg, why would I be mad when somebody takes the golden egg? And he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right in that fact. Huge. Because he is in, very, in, in much ways, the goose that lays the golden egg when it comes to content. The guy stiffs out content better than anybody. If anything, I use him as a divining rod in some ways because if he's watching my videos, that usually means that I'm in the pocket on whatever I'm covering. That means I'm looking at the right thing at the right time, talking about it the right way to the right people. Do you have any idea how huge of a benefit that is? So when I see stuff like this, it just, it, it pisses me off to no end. It's just so stupid. So stupid, it's so uninformed. And I, like, does this person even make content? Probably not, right? Oh, you have a YouTube channel. Okay. With the, okay. You have, a, you have a YouTube channel that you make Sonic content. I'm not even going to comment on that. You can agree with somebody's opinions or disagree with somebody's opinions. You can say, ah, I don't like that. I don't believe what he said. But keep it to that. When you feel like you need to reach outside of something you even know about, that's when I'd probably say, yeah, maybe you maybe I should take a step back. But you know what? He got his up, dude. So he's a happy guy. Uh, I'm a fan of Asmongold. I don't agree with everything he says, but it is one of my favorite content creators. I do agree with more than half of what he says, though. Asmongold is pretty cool in my book. Yeah, I mean, I've always really enjoyed the guy's content. I mean, I do. I do have beef with him. I do got beef with that guy. After farming all this D2 con or Dragon's Dogma 2 content, he still hasn't played the game, and I find that to be disgusting. He hasn't watched any of my videos on Dragon's Dogma 2. Do you realize how harmful that is? How much that hurts my feelings? I think that's bullshit. Personally. Bullshit. Watches IGN instead. Could you imagine watching IGN instead of me? Good lord. Good lord.